to the Digital Health and Fitness Live Studio presented by United Healthcare. I am Dr. Eric Eiding here at CES 2017, and right here I have with me Rebecca Roos. Rebecca, welcome. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much for joining us. So Rebecca is the Director of Marketing and Digital Products for Mamava. Absolutely. So Mamava, tell us, what, what do you guys do? Okay, so Mamava, it's uh, Moms on the Go, and so what we do is we provide lactation spaces for Moms on the Go, meaning... Uh, we have a pod where it's a self-standing uh, pod that you can go in, lock the door, you're yes. nice and secure, or um, an office space where you're totally enclosed. So um, lots of different solutions because moms go back to work or they travel without their kids, they need a place to pump, or even if their kids are a distracted eater right. and they want to breastfeed and they want some privacy, um, we provide that. We want to give women choices. Yeah, and I've seen you guys in the airports. I mean, you guys are everywhere. And we're so thrilled. Like We've just really got hit our stride in the last 18 months. That's when our first employee was hired outside of our two founders. Nice. We're in about 20 six airports across the country wow. and it's such a lovely thing because every day from social media we hear from moms like ah you were the oasis in the desert you saved me it's brilliant it's so how did you guys come to be well it's an interesting story is our co-founders built this mamava out of necessity because when they were pumping and they were traveling working moms they found like where am I going to pump? At a, at, I'm right. traveling. I'm at a meeting. Like, there's no space to do that. So they came up with these freestanding self-enclosed pods. And our first uh, location was at the Burlington, Vermont airport. Wow. And from there, we've just grown. I mean, and I think it's so... Because, you know, I, I'm a guy, right? So I, I, I never have had to experience what it is to, to, to uh, uh, breastfeed or to pump, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, there are so many colleagues who I have. I mean, I do emergency medicine, yeah. so you're in weird spaces yeah. during weird hours. And the number of women I've talked to who've had to breastfeed in a public bathroom, and I just think that is just... It's gross. It's, it's disgusting. Yeah. It's disgusting. And and that's what we're trying to do is normalize breastfeeding. Right. So what, whether you choose to pump or open, you know, breastfeed, whatever you want to do, that's your choice. And so we want to support moms, especially when they go back to work so they have a space. And the thing that we do a lot is education. Right. People don't understand that that's actual federal law that you have to provide a space yep. for if you employ over 50 people that you have to provide a space that's clean, safe, secure, so it locks on the inside, and that it's not a bathroom. Right, and it, that, I, that's not asking for very much, no. right? It's really basic. No. Our, yeah. You know, our needs are small. We just want to be supported. We want to be comfortable. We want to relax. That helps with the letdown so we can pump. Right. So that it's, the and, and all of our spaces do provide that. So it's a, a mental, a physical, right. and emotional. So where can we get more information about Mamava? Uh, you can go to any of our social sites, mamava.com, our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, so that's where you can get more information around us. And I wanted to talk, uh, give a shout out to CES because last year what happened and how we got here was they, there was no uh, provisions for lactating moms. So there's no place to pump. Right. So what happened was that there, were, there was some media around how there was no space in technology for nursing mothers. I have post article on that. And because of mothers reaching out and doing lactivation, as we like to call it, yes, asking yes. for what they need, the yep. basic needs, we got connected with CES and they purchased two of our pods, one's at the Sands and one's at the convention center, and they're keeping them here and they're donating them to the space, Excellent. which is hallelujah. I think it's amazing, because right, 160,000 people, you, you got to make sure that, that we're accommodating for our, our, uh, our mothers who have recently absolutely. given birth. Absolutely. You know, you, we want more women in tech. This yep. is the one way to support women. Absolutely. Absolutely. Rebecca Roos, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'm Eric Eiding here at the Digital Health and Fitness Live Studio presented by United Healthcare here at CES 2017.